Uh, what's going on guys? So, today's a very exciting video. We're actually getting rid of the 318. So, choking. Seems to be running, right? Uh, brakes on. So, uh, you know, let's see what we get, but... So, got this 400. A lot of you are gonna be like, oh, why would you trade the you know, 318 for a 400, blah, blah, blah. So it's actually got a lot of upgrades done to it. And it comes with a lot. We open this up. Sorry for the, look at this. Look at that. I think it's a 20 horsepower of each wing. Let's put in, go to the kit. So let's put in the right way. Battery terminals need to be cleaned. Not sure. I was told it only has 30 hours on it. I'm not sure. Not sure if that's true or not. Um, I'm not sure if that's original hour meter and it's only got 300, I mean 900 hours. And then the 30 hours are on the motor. Or if that's an aftermarket one and this motor has 931 hours. I'm not sure. But I was told it only had 31 hours. Um, Starts right up. I think it's got an electric fuel pump. Cause I hear it clicking when I turn the key. Here, ready? Definitely got an electric on it. These are put in narrow. I actually kept my ags. Oops, kept my true power. So those are going right on. Oops. Um, had a snow blower on it once upon a time. Or not a snow blower. A cab it has a front blade um i'll show you guys in tomorrow or next video or something it's got a front blade um the seat looks pretty new looks nice yeah, it's just a low on hydraulic fluid at the moment um these all seem to be good um this is come out it's just missing the thing i guess so this is cool this it's got the, all the stuff in the mowing deck it's got the mowing deck I think this one's got a leak. Not sure where, but that one has a leak. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the grill and why it's pushed out so much, but plan to fix that. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like someone painted the grill. Overspray on it. Oh yeah, why is it? Oh, it's just down further than it should be. Gotta figure out the lights. Have all the service manuals and all that original stuff. That's pretty cool. Gotta check the oil. Am I doing an oil change? Check the filter. Clean it all up. Decide if I'm a repainter or not. Pretty clean. Pretty good. Unless it's not a new, new seat, but it's pretty new. Three point hitch. I mean, I think it's worth it. A ton of parts. Oh, and. Brand new tires for the front. Literally brand new. Not sure if I'm gonna put these on or just get some other ones, but here's all the stuff for the mowing deck. Those are always nice to have. But yeah, I think it's definitely a beat. All right, so currently we're, or I'm filling this rear end up because the guy said a rear end uh, or the lever, it was a little play and so I tightened it up. I'll show you in a minute. And then um, come to find out it has like no fluid in it, I guess. So, you know, that'll do it. And so I'm filling it up with all this ATF I got, because that seems to be what was in it. Um, got a funnel all the way down into the fill point. So I guess the 400s don't have a fill point, or if they do, I um, haven't found it yet. But from what I've seen, and I got this manual, so apparently this is where you fill it. So still filling it up, but this thing is mint. Um, I'll get you guys in there. So I actually have a, uh, uh, tiny or smaller weight box, probably. Um, I don't know. I think it, it should fit. Um, it's all smaller, but I'll test it out tomorrow. See if I make sure it does fit before I try to find some weights. I'm going to put these in wide position for the time being. Um, I'm not sure when I'll make soft these. 
Those are five log. These are obviously six log. I'm not sure what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do for the fun ones. I thought of people using them. I know they're mismatched, but they hold air, so I don't know. Maybe just leave them until I can go buy those uh, V61s, maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure what I should get for them, but. I think I just have to flop the rear end, flop the rear rims, so that one is this side and this one is this side, so they're wider. Um, I just got done so I just put two in, one and a half of them in. I don't know if that's enough. I think it will do for time being till I can get some more, because I don't think I have any more. Should definitely help, especially if I don't run any hot oh, You're not gonna stop. Why would you? Why would you? But yeah, there's a drain plug. Let's drain plug right there. Uh, and right. obviously, I'm sure you guys don't want to just see the track there. You don't want to see the attachment. So, like I said, one of these has a leak on it. But this is a plow. Um, I don't know. It looks like it's been redone. Yeah, it definitely has been, but it's got, there it is, there's the tag, anybody that wants it. And then, uh, you know, just the stuff, but mowing back has run a little bit more. Kind of a, this is pretty cool. Apparently all of it, all that works. And uh, I don't know what size it is. I don't see no tag in it. Oh, it's right there. I was told it was a 72, but it's definitely a 60. Not looking at it. But it's not a picture of that. It's definitely a 60 inch, I think. Going off that. <sighs> Looks pretty clean. Looks pretty solid. I mean, I don't see any holes. Looks pretty, pretty decent. Everything's there. Can't wait to use that thing. It has to be min. I uh, fooled around with the plow earlier. And it was definitely, definitely fun. I've been looking for one of those forever for the 318. Can't believe it was just perfect. And like we said, for the, uh, what's my call it? Kind of paperwork. And I guess the front end was replaced. Two cans of paint, because they were gonna paint it. And like I said, John Deere service manual. Won't open it all the way up, but it's all there. So you even got a uh, operator's manual. And it's even got the, um, what they would give you when you go to do dealer. Check out the, uh, see if I can get out of here. All the, uh, attachments that were made for it. Pretty neat. I mean, that's pretty much the look over, I guess. And need some work. Um, I mean, it works fine now it is, but definitely could use some work. I mean, I'm going to flush out what I put into there. I'll just flush out when I do a, uh, um, just going to swap the, uh, put a new transmission filter on there and then fill it all up. I don't know how much it's in it right now. I just put half, one and a half of them, so quart and a half but looking in here definitely never did it yeah i guess it was brought somewhere to do the motor conversion not sure when i don't think it's a powerhouse one it looks like a 20 horse actually hmm. look over here you see you got the radiator pto all that goodness battery <laughs> High and low, no diff lock. I got the thingies. Got a whole box of parts. Um, 
just looking under here, kind of looks like that's been a little leaky. So, maybe you find some parts of that. Power steering. All that. Seems pretty good. See, I mean, seems pretty good. Um, definitely a lot bigger than the 318. Definitely happy I got it. I figure out what's going on up there, like I mentioned, but look at the frame. That frame's beefy. Definitely gonna be a real, real nice build. And uh, stick around, and I'll have a ton of more um, videos on it. Probably gonna restore it soon, sooner than later. I thought about doing it next month, but take a picture of that. Look at this little strawberry. Oh, it's a little squishy thingy. Oh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> A little squishy that's cool but yep stick around and i'll have more videos on this i believe this is a 1977 i just got the vin i'll confirm make sure it is um 400 yeah plow deck but let you guys know let me guys know what you guys think was it a good trade y'all gonna make out good or bad trade trent have done it my opinion, I think it's a great trade, but that's me. But uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a shorter one. I just wanted to let you guys know I picked up this, or actually it got delivered. Drove, guy drove four hours, four and a half hours one way. So just wanted to let you guys know that, and uh, hope to have some more videos out. Like I said, I got a box, um, box weight or whatever. So go see and make sure that hooks up. No problem. And uh, make sure the hydraulics and all the hydraulics work. We gotta make sure the pouring some new ATF in there works. So, should help. Um, tomorrow, I'll flip these things tomorrow probably. It's getting late. But, catch you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.